We're back on the test panel with soft black finish. This time we scuffed it up with 2000 grit. In the last video, we worked on enhancements, one steps, all in ones, and a little bit of cut and finish. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is where we dig deeper into removing some more significant imperfections, uh, deeper imperfections, and we need to do multiple steps. So in this, this first little example, and there are many, many combinations that would work on soft paint for multiple steps. I'm going to use the rotary and this Lake Country hybrid pad. This isn't the most aggressive wool pad out there, but when you team it up with 3D1, and normally if you're removing imperfections, and this is the, the cutting stage on hard clear, 3D1 wouldn't cut it. You'd have to use a real harsh abrasive uh, compound. But on, on something soft like this that we're working on today, 3D1 will give you a nice quick cut right out of the gate. It'll break down quickly, but that's what you want on soft clear. You don't want to dig too deep. So very softly, very carefully, we're going to use the hybrid pad teamed up with 3D1 to get the cutting portion finished. The speed of the rotary polisher is barely at the third speed setting. Just guiding it back and forth with a little bit of pressure from my thumb down onto the polisher. Just letting the weight, uh, just under four pounds of the M550 here, uh, be the pressure on the panel. You don't need, need much more. You can see it's a nice smooth ride across the panel with this uh, pad and polisher. And we're getting the cutting stage done this way. With the residue removed, I can grab you guys, bring you into the panel a little bit closer, and you'll be able to see that during the cutting stage, all of the uh, minor to moderate imperfections are gone. Some of the real deep ones that we're not going to go after will remain. However, there's still a little bit of hazing, hence multiple stages. You can see the difference from the section we, cre uh, we corrected compared to the section that hasn't been touched yet. Huge difference, but we're not done yet. So we'll apply a soft polishing pad, but we're still going to stick with 3D1. Again, a little, a quick uh, cut out of the gate, but it breaks down quickly, and it'll give you a very, very nice finish for an all-in-one. The polisher has a 15 millimeter throw, and I have that between the third and the fourth speed setting. Again, no pressure. On this particular type of paint, we can get away with using the 3D1. This is Subaru Soft Thin Clear Coat. And we can get away with using 3D1 with its cutting and finishing capabilities. Some clear, some of the moderate to hard. You would need to break out a um, real abrasive cutting compound and then maybe even a medium cut compound and then a light cup cut compound uh, and finish down from there those are multiple steps a lot of time involved and when you can get away with doing a correction without going through all those steps that's the way to go with the new technology of abrasives that are available today within the last few years, it's mostly going to be a heavy cut compound and then just jump to a light cut or a polish because of the way they finish down. That will just designate the medium cut compound that's usually in a correction system to a one step or a cut and finish liquid.
On this particular hood, with this clear, which is on the softer side, this would be absolutely fine to protect then and you could be finished. On some of the clears that may be a little bit softer, uh, another step could be required. I'll show you that now. Angel Wax Perfect Polish is even a finer brace if it's a cleaner polish. And if you team that up with one of the application pads, which normally, uh, for the most part, is black when it comes to the foam pads in the pad lines. Team that up, and it's practically jeweling. Turn the polisher down low, and use this combination to remove any type of hazing, or um, just if you want to bring out some clarity. On this type of clear, that step would be quite unnecessary unless you have a show car, something uh, where the owner had the eye and wanted the extra step finished. All right, let's move on. There are some clears out there that are extremely soft. I just finished up a Jaguar that was that fits into that category where I couldn't even use a polisher to do the finishing touches to remove some of the haze and bring back clarity, and I had to do this by hand with a microfiber application pad very, very lightly. You'll run into that every once in a while. You'll see that uh, multi-step correction on soft paint, on soft finishes, is a little bit different than multi-steps on moderate to hard. And I'll drag in a moderate to hard panel and show you a multi-step on that as well in the future. But yeah, there's, there's quite some differences um, especially when it comes to the aggression of the polish and also the pads. So on this particular clear, the last three steps, there's hard to see any difference with the naked eye. You would have to have a meter to see that, but on some of the really soft clear, it would be a necessary step. Let's jump over to this last little section here. In the Max Shine Polisher line, you could see where these colors here uh, fall in line of aggression. The white is very soft, and the blue will be the cutting, and we're going to team that up with X-Cut 0505, which is virtually cut and finish by Sonax. This is just the DA version, and that's going to be good enough. We don't need a harsh, heavy compound with this pad. This version of the correction over here in this little section is for those of you that don't own a rotary or not interested in uh, getting to, to know one or learn one. I would suggest that you, you add a rotary to your arsenal at one point or another. Just grab some junk panels like I'm working on here and, and practice on it. To me, it's the scalpel when it comes to cut and finish. To me, it cuts and finishes better than a dual action polisher. Not like you can't get the work done without a dual action polisher. To me, it just takes a little bit longer. And I do believe having both of these tools in your arsenal makes you a better all-around detailer. When I speak of a dual action polisher or a rotary, somebody will normally bring up a forced rotation like the Flex or the Roofs Melee. Uh, you know, I don't favor them. I have them and will not reach for most of the time. It's very rare where it just comes to me that, hey, I got to grab the forced rotation when I can easily just grab a tool action polisher or the rotary. It's just a personal preference. A lot of people will favor the forced rotation. Again, no wrong answer. Dual action polisher, forced rotation, rotary, if you like them, 
keep using them. I'm 100% behind you. As we remove the residue, you'll notice the, the cutting portion is finished. We removed all of the imperfections that we're going to go after. And the only thing left behind is just a little bit of hazing. You could bring out some extra clarity with this next step we're going to do. But it looks a heck of a lot better. It doesn't look that far off from the section to the left of it that we just finished with four steps, virtually. Let's go down to this white pad, which is the softest pad in the Max Shine line. These polished pads from Max Shine are very good. They're holding up. Quality abrasive. Uh, we're going to team that up with F3 from IGL, which is a finishing polish. Uh, very small, non-aggressive nail abrasives in there, a very good finisher. I did mention in the first video with uh, enhancements and one steps we're going to bring the paint depth gauge. I'm going to save that for the next video where we concentrate on how much clear is removed during enhancements versus one steps versus multi-step uh, correction processes. And I'll dedicate a whole video and show that you'll be very interested to see just how much is removed or how little is removed. And as we remove the residue, I'll bring you in close. Once again, we'll take a look at all these panels. It's something you, you probably take notice, there was no middle step, no medium uh, compound or polish. It's really not necessary with today's technology and abrasives. You could skip that step, and it looks gorgeous compared to the way it did before. Um, a huge turnaround. And this is just a very small example of the different combinations you can be successful doing. If you're liking the content, be sure to like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. That will let you know when we have fresh content available on the channel.